I'm Dale Hamilton. I'm a counselor with Family Life Counseling Services. The holidays are a time that can bring increased interpersonal conflict. We may find ourselves in close quarters with friends and families that we may have a history of conflict or relationship patterns that have tendencies for conflict. These situations may also have high expectations or poorly communicated intentions. A proactive approach to conflict is to plan for it. Um, if appropriate, have a conversation about it beforehand. Communicating in person is ideal. Another proactive effort could be therapy. Therapy can help resolve unhelpful beliefs and feelings from past events in relationship. If conflict arrives, try to practice empathy. Empathy is being able to understand what another person may be feeling or the reason behind their behaviors. If you can communicate with empathy, the other person will be more likely to not act as defensive. The other person can feel connected, valued, and that you're taking efforts to protect the relationship. But always communicate your needs, your wants, and your expectations clearly and directly. Speaking and acting assertively shows that you value the other person's thoughts and feelings and your thoughts and feelings are important too. Passive communication, on the other hand, shows the other person their thoughts and feelings are valued by you, but yours are not as important. This can lead to resentment and hurt feelings when your needs aren't met. A great way to practice assertive communication is to use I statements. Instead of saying, you are giving me too much to do, say, I am feeling overwhelmed. This communicates your feelings in a way that helps the other person be less likely to be defensive. Finally, a plan to cope with conflict. Have a few immediate coping skills, like taking a moment for deep breath. A timeout can be acceptable if you need space, but if appropriate, let the other person you're in conflict with know that you're going to return to resolve the conflict. Self-care is necessary for being able to manage conflict and strong feelings. The ultimate form of self-care is doing the hard work of healing unresolved emotional issues.